We are proud to introduce the Holtzman scale exclusively by Jayhawk. The Holtzman scale has four major benefits over traditional scales. Accuracy, size, speed, and cost. Accuracy is the most important factor in any scale. We tested the Holtzman scale against several Dodo scales and got back near identical results. The size of this scale is significantly smaller than other scales, freeing up valuable counter space and also makes for easy storage. The time to weigh a ball is faster on this scale. There's easier access to the ball. The ball moves easier on the scale with the two rollers that allow the ball to be adjusted. And there's no more adjusting sliding scales or leveling balance beams like on traditional dodo scales. The digital readout also makes for near instant results on a backlit LED display that is easy to read. The other great benefit is the cost. The Holtzman scale is significantly less than other dodo scales on the market. Now we'll do a quick demonstration on how to use the Holtzman scale. The first thing we're going to weigh is side weight. So I put the ball on the jig, positioning it so the sides of the ball are going left and right. I'm going to take my ProSect, line it up on this level indicator over here, and I'm going to basically split my center line. Now we're going to do something called a gentle weight application. So I'm just going to remove the weight from the scale and then put it back on. And then once this number settles, I'm going to hit the tear button. That basically brings the reading to zero. So when I spin this ball 180 degree degrees, I can reline it up using my ProSect along the center line and do another gentle weight application. And we'll get a reading. This is basically giving me 0.7 ounces of side weight. Now with the Holtzman scale, we take this number and we divide it by two. So we would get roughly about 0.35 ounces of side weight. Now to do finger thumb weight, I'm going to position this ball. So we're going to be splitting the midline. This is basically the position that you would put the ball in any dodo scale to weigh finger thumb weight. I'm going to rotate the ball until my ProSect is splitting my midline and take the ProSect off and do another gentle weight application. Once this number settles, I'm going to hit the tear knob and rotate the ball 180 degrees. I'm going to reposition the ProSect on here and split my midline. and do another gentle weight application. Now I'm getting 1.3 ounces. So I divide that number in half and I get 0.65 ounces of finger weight. Now I'm going to weigh the ball and get top weight. To do top weight, all we need to do is rotate the ball so we have the top of our ball on a side. I'm going to take my ProSect and position this on the scale to where I can line up the edge of this ProSect with the center or the top of my ball, my center of grip. Do a gentle weight application and tear the ball. Once I have that, I rotate the ball 180 degrees. This is really nice and easy along these, these ball bearings down here because the ball spins really freely on that. For this, I can just line up my, uh, my center of grip with this level indicator over here, do another gentle weight application, and I'll get a reading. I'm getting negative 2.3 ounces. This negative means that this side is heavier than this side. So whenever you see a negative sign here, all that means is whatever part of the ball is on this side, whether it be top weight, finger weight, side weight, whatever, this side is heavier. So we take this 2.3 and divide it in half and we get 1.15 ounces of top weight. And that, that definitely falls within the three ounce spec for top weight. So this ball will be perfectly legal and it's ready for play.